let them know we are going live. Hello, everybody. Good morning. Good morning. Doing some planting. This is some cilantro that I'm setting here. Good morning, everybody. And we have some Greek Cuba. We have some Greek oregano and um, some cilantro I'm putting in this pot. These are some cilantro. Look, the roots are coming out. Hello, everyone. Good morning. Good morning. Happy Tuesday morning. Busan says hi. Who is it? Busan. Okay. Is it Jean? Oh, Hussein. Hussein. Yeah. Uh, put it down there. Oh, you might have to take that answer. Good morning, everyone. Hi. Um, oh, I can see. Where is it going? Um, where I can see. Let me help you video. Hi Lalita, welcome my friend. How are you? Dennis, good morning. We're doing some gardening here. So what I put in this pot is some um, uh, cilantro, some cilantro and some Greek oregano. So this is finished here. You want to put it on the side there. Thank you, Tommy. So I'm planting all these tomatoes. Right now I said this. This is a... Uh, um, this is a blackberry bush, a blackberry bush. Uh, what I'm going to do now, I'm going to take some of this. This is some marigold. I'll put some marigold in there too. going to help keep away bugs. Plus, it's going to look nice. And uh, put a couple in there. Actually, you know what? I never thought of what you're doing. That's a great idea. To put marigolds around your tomato plants or fruit plants to yeah, help keep yeah, the bugs put away. Yeah, yeah, tomato plants to help keep smart the idea. bugs away. And you can do it with lemongrass too. And you break up the roots on the bottom. Yeah. yeah. I don't even want to Yeah. You want the pepper plant? Yeah, there you go. Take this one out. Oh, you want to put a... Pe I don't want to put that many because I'm going to take all the dirt from it. Here. And we show them the berry. Hey everybody. Hello. Hello. I've got a coconut that is yeah. open for mom. That's a blackberry right there. Yeah. Oh, well, you can't see Johnny here. Okay. So if you can look right here, we made a tiny incision in a triangle. Put two straws in. Are you gonna come out? Oh, there's straws for air. One is for air. No, one's for calm. Oh, okay. Here you go, guys. Hey, listen. We don't need to. We are okay with mm. the saliva sharing. Mmm. What a great there. idea, guys! Look, uh, my coconut with a straw. Where's the umbrella, Johnny? This is definitely my energy for this morning. Oh. Here we go, Tommy. So yummy. I don't think I switch the camera for me. I also have this is some what is this called? S it's a purple sol Solina. Solicia. Solicia. It's also the cat tail. It's the dark purple Solicia. It's an annual. So it grows now, you know, once a year kind of thing. So I'll be putting this two in some pots. Let me have that pink one there, the pink pot, the purple pot. Okay. Oh, jeez. Let me hold it. Put this in here. See how dry these things are? Oh my gosh. They really need pots. That's why you had to transplant it because they put so much filler. Yeah, yeah. That's why I'm transplanting it. They get bigger in bigger pots. 
and I have a, a um, at least a little um, uh, what do you call it percentage of growing because many times these plants die out when you leave them in their original pot. So I have some bigger pots for tomatoes. So I'll put, put these tomatoes. I'm trying to put things in pots and see how we're gonna turn out. Jeez, look this just gonna... So we have this tomato. I'm also gonna be putting some peppers in here too. Um, I have some Carolina hot peppers. I also have some ghost peppers and some really colorful peppers, guys. So I'm gonna also put some uh, peppers around here and these are some smaller peppers and don't really go as big. So I'll put one in here and uh, put one marigold in here too, why not? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Two dogs, uh, look how much water is left huh? yeah. I know, right? Ah. So yummy. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Right. Your arms and everything is nothing. Put some of this uh, pepper. Does it seem okay? can't find my little shovel everything is still in a Jupiter property I had a little shovel here but so what we're gonna do now we're gonna actually put something to hold up this tomato All right. doing some transplanting everybody happy Tuesday happy Tuesday we can set the pots under the deck and run a string down to them they can climb up the string up to the yeah, deck yeah yeah here So like I said, I have, this is some scotch bonnet, some Carolina hot pepper, some Carolina's hot peppers. We also have some ghost peppers. So we have all sort of different peppers here we're transplanting. And I need to transplant it, transplant it because we, we're getting really busy with the holidays. And before you know it, these guys will be here. And um, so we need to transplant uh, everything. I have. Um, Check out my Christmas tree too. This is one of our Christmas tree that we'll put up some decoration on. It's a live Christmas tree. It's alive, and we're still putting up some lights. And uh, so it's a mess around there. Around. You're in a jungle back there. <laughs> Oh, and this here, Tommy. And, uh, what is this? Um, other um, your call, Tommy? Uh, man down, man down. Nessa Walker says good morning. Good morning, Miss. Oh, who, Miss? Nessa, Nessa. Walk. Nessa, uh -huh. Nessa. Uh -huh. uh, on, on, on a video? Yeah. Hi, Nessa. How are you? Oh, um, let me know when is a good time. I want to chit chat with you for a little bit. I miss you guys. Thank you so much, Nessa. I miss you. I haven't seen you lately on, t on, um, on, on Facebook. Hope you're doing well. We'll be in Guyana next year. I can't wait to come and visit you, Nessa. So we're just doing a little bit garden here. Um, I bought some little plants and I'm putting in bigger pots just so that they can uh, grow. I have a bunch of tomatoes I have to put on here. I also have some big peppers. And this is some, uh, what is this annual called? It's an impatient. This is an impatient annual. And I bought this big one because you can take little pieces. You can take little pieces out of it and make bigger ones. So look, or, or make more. So you see, I'm going to cut it right here. You see the roots and everything. If you look closely, you see the roots. So I'm going to just cut it right above this. And then I'll make a bunch of little plants and, uh, and you know, 
get a lot more of these guys this pot was about $17 and then I will get so much from it you know look I'm cutting them all off so the others will come up and you can do this as your hanging plant this is a hanging one or you can do it um, just like that to sit so I'm doing a lot of pieces Now I just leave it there. Look, and you know how many pieces this will make? And more it grows, more pieces you take. And I do the same with that plant over there. See the name of it? it... Begonia. Is there, is there a hook down there for this? Okay. Yeah, here you go. Oh, here. Oh, down there? I yeah. don't want it in the sun. I'll put it down. Put it in the shade. Okay. She has them hanging. Let's see. We have to make more There's work. one down there in the end. I'll put it over in a minute. There's one down in the end, but I can't get to it yet. Okay. Now with all these little pieces, I'll put them in nice little pots, hanging pots too. So we can hang up on the trees. The big mess going on up here, and then I got washed on everything. Well, look at these guys. They put, you know, I put like three in there. Okay. And then you just transplant and put in bigger pot as they get bigger. You keep trimming it, guys. So you see this is one done, then I have the hooks, then I'll hang it up. And uh, for this now I have, uh, let me have that too. I have these guys. That I'll put in the middle. This is not the one I want. No, we need a smaller one, yeah. I, I left it downstairs. Okay, we need them up here. All right, and I'll keep them up here because um, all my plants when I put them down there, oh geez, the iguanas and so get them. So my beginning of my plants, I'll leave them on the deck up here. I'll put them in the corner where I can wash off all the dirt and stuff like that for now. So we have a lot more to do here. We have all these here to do. Well, let me show you what I'm going to do here now. Um, check out this big, big pot. Like, show it. This is a nice the dragon. Japanese style pot. And I'm going to be leaving this somewhere nice up here. But what I'm doing, I'm going to put several. You don't have the stick? Okay. Well, I'm going to put several of these guys in here. And uh, these tomatoes. This particular variety is, wants to be planted deep. Yes, the guy says to put them really deep. And then I'll put other peppers around it. Actually, let me take out this one. I'll put a smaller one here. And let's put this one in here. We'll put this big one in here. I have a several more downstairs. Yeah. So let me just... Let me just uh, put on some dirt in here. So I have three. This is a big pot. A lot of dirt is in here. Then I'll put this guy over. See where it's hooking on there. 
Wait, but careful with the leaves and everything here. Put your side. There you go. I should have put this down first and put it in. But anyway, this is a big one. I'm putting three tomatoes here. And um, okay, so I have my tomatoes in there. Now I'll be putting different types of peppers. I have my Carolina hot pepper in here. I'll put this one there. Then I'll put my Scotch bonnet. And my ghost pepper. I will just put three in here. And I'm also will be putting in some marigold. The marigold will actually help the mosquitoes as and a mosquito and also the bugs especially with the tomatoes those guys get bugs really quickly so I put and this is what I'm gonna be setting up all in here guys oh my goodness how pretty this is gonna look it's been so nice you guys gonna see how this guy is doing up here smells so good oh I love the smell of marigold let me know ah I love the smell of marigold ah it smells so good Francis One of Tommy's client from Palm Beach, actually Jupiter Island is calling. It's nicer, Tommy. It's good. Yeah. I haven't used this. I had this pot here since we bought this place. And I never used it. So I'm glad I'm using it for this purpose. These projects are still going with all your Christmas stuff. Yeah, yeah, guys. Look, we have all this Christmas stuff. I have all the lights I still need to put up. Uh, we're supposed to go get a Christmas tree, but I think we'll wait till in the next couple of days to go get that. We have to go all the way to Homestead to get a Christmas tree. Why don't you ask if they think you should do a Christmas tree or do a natural tree in the yard to decorate one up? Well, I have this one here. I want a Christmas tree for inside. We don't have any tree for inside. Okay. So I want that. Uh, every year we get one. We can't say no this time. But well, look how nice everything is looking. And this tomato, you keep training it to go up on here. And you take out, you try to take out some of the leaves of the tomatoes, especially when you're transplanting, because in that way, it will help the plant not to be shocked like so badly. It will help it grow a little bit faster. The lower are called suckers. They are called suckers. So we're going to help the tomato plant or any plant for that matter grow better. Any plant. So I'm just taking out some of these suckers. Extra leaves, extra stem you really don't need, especially when you just start to, when it just transplant um, a plant. You want it to catch faster and get as much energy and with all these extra leaves and extra stems just sucking the energy out of the plant so the plant has to work a lot harder to um, survive and this thing needs to transplant you see how little dirt I see look look how tall they are with a little bit of dirt so it needs to be transplanted Thank you guys, thank you guys, everyone. Where is the phone so I can say hello? How many times? Um, two, um, two, two. Uh, uh, 
happy Tuesday everyone happy Tuesday let me know what you're planning for dinner I mean what you're planning for lunch they're saying you say a lot of people are saying they sent you a bunch of pictures uh, screenshots and stuff from the event and a couple different other places oh nice nice thank you thank please you please check all them out on messenger also I yeah. think she's going through a lot of them now they're so like what did you say last night it's like pictures that we never knew happened yeah I know it was so cute thank you for the pictures all the pictures and anytime guys um, tag Sandy's backyard kitchen and uh, thank you for doing that like right now her mind is everywhere but on what she's doing so to see a picture of what she's doing now it's we she treasures those and we um and you know tag us when you share it that way you can share it on your page too with us uh-huh okay so this one is finished look at that nice job like i said i have so much more to do so much more to do just want to get on here and show you the, all the little things we're doing <sighs> and let me show you here all the water is gone from the coconut? No. Mm. I knew you were going to want more. Uh, so I have all my... Uh, When's Santa coming, they're asking tomorrow, right? Ponciadas. Ponciadas. Yeah, these are ponciadas. So I take them out and I let them get some rain. And now I have them. These are for putting the house and so on. I need cool and shade. And so I'm going to put those in the house and I have these plants and I um, so I want to put outside since we can't do much decorative inside. So I have some of these balls and so we'll be hanging around right around here. Um, I know it's a mess right now but let me show you what I did here. Um, this is from Border Paradise. I love Border Paradise. Uh, especially it's nice for your deck and so um, so I transplant some of these guys uh, uh, here too. And this is the blackberry that I put some marigold here and I transplanted it. And then the cat, cat tail. This is just some that we have already done. And I want to show you also. Look, I'm getting some peppers. And this is some red scotch bonnet peppers. Alright, so we're just getting some stuff done here. Uh, it's it's getting warm already. So I was trying to hurry up before it get really hot. And um, so thank you all. Thank you all. I have so much to do in the yard. I think that hammock has your name on it. Yeah. You no time for the hammock today? Not really. So you see like I'm doing some plants and so let me show you the peppers guys. Of course there was a centipede here this morning, a centipede. So there's a few centipede around here. No. No. Look, yeah, tell me, look, this is my black pepper. Look, you see how it's coming up? How nice is this? We have a few coming up. Where else you see this? Right here. Look, black pepper. So Get a few things. My cinnamon. So much things to do. So much things to do, guys. This is my cinnamon. Let me see. Cinnamon. It's getting big, guys. My cinnamon is getting really big. I've never seen a cinnamon plant until you got it. And over here, I have all the um, the milkweed. Also the madar flowers that I, you know, take pieces and stick inside and now they're growing. Those are self-rooting, most yes, of them? Yes, self-rooting. All is by pieces that I put in there, self-rooting. So, quite a, a few things to do just to get a house tidied up already again. Uh, thanks again. Oh, I wanted to show you this orchid. Let me show you this orchid. We got a chlorine all these here. Well, look at this, guys. Check out how beautiful this orchid is. Full of orchids. This is a similar one to when we used to live in the interior of Guyana. Everywhere in the interior of Guyana, especially nighttime, when you go around, how you smell it. It smells so good in the night. Just a nice aroma of uh, 
we do give out. Like I said, you know, we've been gone for about a month and a half. For about a month in, uh, in Trinidad and then like the last week or week and a half we've been home. We haven't had a chance to do anything. So I need to clean up all here. We got to chlorine all these rocks. Huh? Um, so Deborah saying, I'm learning a lot from you, Sandy. Thank you. A couple oh. of people says, love the plants. Thanks for the ideas and sharing. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Show me an orchid up there, bud. Hmm? And I, with these, how do you hold them to the tree? What do you do? I actually will take these down. They're actually getting smushed and buried. Um, the roots need to be exposed like this, you know. So all these here I got to take care of. I got to take down all these. But you just tie it up to the tree with some Yeah, peat I moss tie them up to the tree with some moss. But the thing is, the mass is growing fast, so you need to take down it. You see, you expose the roots a little bit, and um, and it will it will actually give out more 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 uh, more roots and, and and plants. And then the so, one up there is like that was the original owner did that one way up there, and it's just growing tall, tall. Like all these years, I have, and this is from the original owner, so I haven't had a chance to really take care of them yet. So I will take these out and reuse this for more orchids. This is real um, mask. mask, real mask from North Carolina, guys. Real mask. So it's just how I take them down here, expose the the inner part of the orchid. You see, look, you see all the roots come see. See, like how the roots are coming up there. You want to expose that a little bit. If it get too buried. It will not do so good. So these are all the little work that I need to get done. I have a bunch of orchids I need to actually take care of. Us, take care of. It's just you know time, time. We're working on it closely. The, the yellowing here is what that means is called a magnesium deficiency in the plant. But there's nutrients that were put in back to the plant. So now when you look at the new growth coming out, see how green it is. That tells you the plant is getting healthy again. But this is a bleed out saying it needs some good vitamins and help. Mm -hmm. So when you see the yellowing in your palms or your plants. Kind of like this right here. Uh, again, this is a magnesium and this is also iron. See the spotting? That means iron also, but the magnesium. But if you look at the new growth coming out, we just treated. See how healthy the new growth is? Nice and bright green. So that says, okay, the plant's getting healthy and uh, it's getting some good nutrients. Okay, we need to hang, hang this up. But uh, like I said, guys, it's, we are starting our garden too much to do. Um, so what I have here now, I take down all the blinds, like you see. No curtains? No, or, or curtains, we call them curtains. That's a new one, that stayed. So I took down all the curtains and I soaked them in here. John soak it, he's in there. How many? 250. So I have this to wash, I'm soaking it with a little bleach and water. And um, then we'll put it back on. So we have so much going on, thank you all. I just wanna, we'll get back up there and continue the planting. See like all these plants here. What is this one? This is also an annual. Begonia. Ah, uh, bandania, and it come in different colors. Like I have in this color, I have in pink. Um, so you can take pieces again, like I and, and plant it pieces. So make more of what you like. And you know how big this deck is, and I want plant like this all around the deck, and that can get quite expensive. So when I buy a few like this. I take pieces and make more of it. Um, and this is a this is a beautiful buttercup, yellow buttercup flower. And I'll Very be good. using this. I'll be um, actually I put this in a pot. I'll put it by uh, my my ganache over there. All right. So thank you all. Thank you all, everybody. And yep. My corolla is doing okay. It's going up the tree a little bit. Those are manzana banana? Uh, I'm not sure. Some is manzana. Uh, guys, this is my desert rose. I'm planting a couple different ones here. You see, like I will take the same, the same um, mask and put them around the plant so that, so keep the water from draining out or keep it cooler. So when I get a lot of these, uh, these things I put them around in the plant. Helps hold the moisture and the nutrients. Yeah. And uh, look, we got a nice Deborah wants to walk through your garden with you. Oh, so much to do. 
I'll take this upstairs and put this upstairs. Bring your gloves and your shovel. You're welcome anytime. Well, I put this here to keep getting roots. Take this upstairs. So, like I said, look over here. Like all these orchids, like I haven't had a chance yet to take care of them. Check out the corilla bush, guys. Check out my corilla bush. I put it to run through these these trees. Is that your fireside? One of I know. I, I cooked baby. one time with David. Been here and I haven't cooked on it yet. Actually, we need to figure out something to cook today. I feel like with curry. So let me know why you think I will. Why you think I should cook? I have goat. I have chicken. I have um, beef. I have pork. I have. I don't even. I have shrimp. Let me know. I I feel like to eat a little curry. Let me know what to cook. Where are you going there, bud? Oh, no new tripod today. Well, we started up there with something else. Hello, everybody. I'm going to go fish. All right. Thanks, Rev. fish today. Yeah, thanks. We yeah, no, no swimming today. Fishing. Uh, but the water feels so tiring. We need some snapper. Thanks, Try to help this morning, John. You've been working since sunrise. All these here, I took them down. I put them in the shed before I leave for Trinidad. So now I got to take them take them out again and put them you know put them in some places where I can see them and I can take care of them uh, someone says she should sprinkle lime around the property to help keep away snakes oh. and centipedes I know we have centipede everywhere here, man. That's one thing. We just sprayed. We have mothballs help keep away snakes. We use a mothball in a plastic bag with a couple of ballpoint pinholes. The smell is so strong it keeps them away. It also helps keep the iguanas and lizards and frogs away too because their senses. So it, they're, they're still here. They're, they're still They're up in the trees above the ground, but they're not really down by the ground. This. And guys, listen, I'm afraid of centipede growing up with all the centipedes growing up with and how many times get bitten. And I came here, and I never even seen centipede, centipede in Florida. And I've been here for how many years? I came to this property, and I saw in one day, I saw three centipedes. Three of them. And they're not very big. They're like this big, but it's just the, it's just the idea. <laughs> All right. I love you guys. Stay amazing. And I'll continue. I'll continue my planting up there. It's getting really hot real quickly, so we're going um, um, in speed motion now. Speed motion because I have all the clothes to do, and plus I have so many things. To Maureen do. says, "Sandy, I make curry shrimp with cabbage and white rice for lunch." Oh man, that curry, sounds good. And John gets to go fishing. We moved here half fifty percent for us for work, and the other fifty percent seriously was for John, right, Sand? Yeah, because he needs something. And this that's is what he likes. for his lifestyle and his personality and, and what goes on in his world. Fishing is his happy place, and uh, so it's a. We did it for him to, for convenience and safety. Yes, yes. You see, all my orchids right now are blooming. Every one of them are having blooms coming up. So, oops, cheese, cheese, cheese. Like you see, there's some coming up there. Look, blooms are coming up here. All around the property has orchids, and every one of them has some sort of bloom. Uh, coming up and if it don't come up now it'll be up in a little bit. You look like a beautiful orchid <laughs> With your skirt. Oh, oh okay <laughs> See the flowers? Huh? On your skirt the flowers. Oh, yeah. They're orchids. <laughs> I didn't even realize these are so light guys um, It's easy to put on it keeps you cool And I know I wear them a hundred times and I will wear them a hundred times more Until they're so worn they have holes and I'll still be wearing them. They're light and comfortable. Especially for what we do. Yes. Okay. Love you guys. Stay amazing. And we'll see you later. Let me know. Give me ideas of what to cook. I have karaila or karaili. I need to cook up that for vegetables. What else I have? I think that's about it for vegetables yeah. that I have. That I need and we to have to get cook. Shanti tomorrow? Yes. True La Queen. We are getting True La Queen tomorrow. True La Queen will be here with us. I'm not sure if she's going to spend two days or three days. So we're very excited. I'm excited to uh, make different dishes. 
and also take her around all over the place you know take her around the shore miami yeah. a little bit Deborah South wants Beach. to know if you want some doll rice dash and bush badgy coconut and something yes. else yes okay yes yes <laughs> yes, thought, yes, I yes, and yes i didn't want to interrupt you but i knew you would hear that one <laughs> it goes so fast it's hard to read them yes all right the yard looks green so They're amazing i will show you everything when we finished Bye, guys. All right.